Hi, I'm Lek from Chocofor.com and in this video I want to show you my way of creating uh, very simple glossy materials which can be used for wood shaders, concrete or marble. So I started by just adding a simple plane and in new Blender 2.8 you have those tabs up here. So I will cl click shading and create a new material this way. So I always start off by making the base color a bit darker and by reducing the roughness here. So now I can see what's actually happening in my viewport. And as you can see on the left here in your Blender, you have this cool uh, browser. So I will use my library and navigate to wood and select one of the maps. Say this one. So you can see I can just drag and drop it and by connecting the dots you can see I have the diffuse preview right now but the way I start working is by creating the separate RGB node and I plug my diffuse map here which is now separated into three color channels which I later use as an input values here so I will plug into the roughness setting here and as you can see the the blue channel gives me pretty cool uh, cool looking reflections with this bit of contrast as for the specular value I usually just use the default slider and don't plug anything here unless I want to do a, a bit more advanced shaders but with these basic materials, I think this really does the trick. So once I have the roughness input, I can also add the color ramp node, which allows me to fine tune the look. So by using those handles here and changing the way the graph is generated, I can actually uh, yeah, create pretty nice uh, shader just using this one diffuse map so in order to reduce those very like very sharp reflections here I will just need to lift this color up a little bit as you can see and yeah I think we can we can use this this look maybe adjust it a little bit more and have something like this. Yeah, so once I set up my roughness, I then disconnect it and add a bump node, which again, I use one of the channels to as a height input and then plug it in here, reduce the strength Let's say, I think this looks cool. And now with the bump uh, set up, I plug in the roughness value again. So you can now see bo both, of both those effect mix nicely. And if you set them up separately, it's much quicker because you know what's happening uh, here in the viewport. So you're not confused if you're actually editing the, the reflections or bump. When you work separately on those effects, it's way easier. So as you can see, I'm now connecting the diffuse map and we basically have the shader ready. I can also add a hue saturation uh, node here to adjust the, the, the diffuse value a little bit. So when I reduce the the color, I mean, when I make, make it a bit darker, you can see the reflections popping up a little bit more. But let's just use 0 0.8 here, 0 0.9 here. And I always kind of like the wooden shaders to be a little bit more reddish. So I just slightly, oh, sorry, I just slightly changed the tint here. And yeah, I would say that's that's basically it.
um, so with this with those few simple notes you can actually create pretty pretty nice looking shaders which also work nice in cycles so you can switch it here by pressing ctrl b create a border and now switch to rendering engine and i will add a very simple light here so we can now see the shader with all the all its features so yeah i think this this method is pretty cool because you can use just one texture so that means it's much more memory efficient especially when you're rendering uh, on graphics card and have a limited uh, vram memory when you have multiple shaders and each one of them has like two to three textures it's way more memory consuming than just using one map and splitting it to those rgb channels so yeah i hope this method was will be useful for you i hope you like it and feel free visiting chocofor.com for a big library of free shaders we have there you can download them for free just need to create an account in our store and yeah it's all to your commercial and hobbyist use so see you guys in the next video and have a great time bye